can Lewis Hamilton build on his championship lead? Will Sebastian Vettel be able to stop Hamilton's momentum? And do Red Bull have anything to offer this weekend? Find out in today's video. So after four long weeks, Formula 1 is finally back. And we come back to the best track on the calendar, Spa. This weekend's race will be held over 44 laps because of how long the track is. At an astonishing 7 kilometres. The longest track on the calendar. The first Grand Prix at Spa took place all the way back in 1950. Which was the first season of Formula 1 racing. And the lap record of a 146.5 was set by Sebastian Vettel in 2017. But it will for sure be broken this weekend. And talking of 2017, let's recap what happened. The winner that day would be Lewis Hamilton in his Mercedes. As in qualifying and the race, he did just about enough to come out on top. But had to defend massively from Sebastian Vettel on two occasions during the Grand Prix. It was a very closely fought battle. And hopefully this weekend we can get a similar battle. But now let's see how the top teams are going to do this weekend in Spa. After Germany and Hungary, Mercedes are on a massive high. Taking two very unexpected race wins with Lewis Hamilton. And are leading in both championships heading to Spa. But I don't think Mercedes will have the fastest car this weekend. That for me goes to Ferrari. And that is basically down to how powerful the Ferrari engine is. It is now clearly the best in F1. And it will suit this track more than the Mercedes. But if Mercedes can capitalise on the mistakes the Ferrari usually make, then I would not be surprised if Mercedes took another race win. Because right now they are massively capitalising on Ferrari's mistakes. And it could happen all over again this weekend. Ferrari for this weekend don't really have any excuses. As they should have the fastest car and they have to start delivering results. The last two races have simply not been good enough. It was clear to see they had the fastest car in those two races. But on race day they completely threw it away. And this has to stop this weekend. Because we are getting to a very crucial part of 2018. And that's why this weekend they have to win. Because on Sunday if they go and throw away the race once again. Then Mercedes will have even more momentum. And Ferrari cannot allow that to happen. So this is a big weekend for Sebastian Vettel and Ferrari. Time to deliver. Coming back after the summer break, this is not going to be a good race for Red Bull. Because as we all know, Spa is power dominant. And because of that, all I see for Red Bull is them being the third fastest team. And the only way I see them getting a podium or a race win is if they get a large amount of luck. Because Mercedes and Ferrari should be miles ahead. It's going to be a tough one for Red Bull. Before this weekend though, let's look at the driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton leads by 24 points from Sebastian Vettel with Kimi Raikkonen in 3rd place. Then it's Bottas P4, Ricardo P5 and Max Verstappen in P6. Will the gap at the top close this weekend? Who knows? But now let's see how the midfield teams will do in Spa. McLaren's summer break has been very eventful. First with the news that Fernando Alonso will leave F1 at the end of 2018. And the other news that Carlos Sainz will replace Alonso for 2019. And there is a lot of rumours about the future of Stoffel van Dorn. And of course this is his home race. So it would be sad to see this be his last race in F1 or last race for McLaren. But when it comes to the pace of the McLaren car this weekend, I don't see them being anywhere near the top 10. Because as we all know, their downforce is bad and so is their straight line speed. If there is some rain, maybe they can score some points. But this is going to be another weekend of struggles for McLaren. This weekend ain't going to be good for Renault. Because again, Spa is very power dominant. And with the way their big rivals Haas have been developing, I do not see how Renault are going to have a good weekend. I would not be surprised if Renault were not even in the top 10 in qualifying. That is how bad it could be because of the Renault power unit's slow straight line speed. I really do fear for Renault powered cars. This weekend may be horrific. Now a lot for Force India has happened over the summer break. Now being took over by the Stroll family. But coming to Spa there is a massive issue. Which could deny the team from racing this weekend. 
as because the Stroll family has took over, they need to change the name of the team. And if they don't do it by practice one, they're not going to race at Spa. I think they will be able to make it, but who honestly knows? I really do hope they make it, because Spa does tend to be one of their best races of the season, as they always tend to score big points at this race. Just remember back to 2009 where they finished in second place, and that was after qualifying on pole position with Giancarlo Fisichella. This track has been very good towards this team, and fingers crossed they will be able to race. Even though Spa should suit the Williams car, they're going to be awful again, as we have seen on plenty of occasions in 2018. Don't expect anything from Williams. There has been some big news for Pierre Gasly during the summer break, that he is replacing Daniel Ricciardo at Red Bull for 2019. That is a big step up. Now in my personal opinion, I don't think he is ready for that seat as I think he's too inconsistent and I have not seen enough to suggest he is ready for that seat. But hopefully next year he will prove me wrong. But when it comes to this weekend, Gasly is going to struggle, simply because the Honda engine won't be able to compete with the Mercedes or Ferrari. Toro Rosso have to be praying for some rain, because that is their only chance of points. In terms of pace, this weekend should be a special one for Haas. Ever since the French Grand Prix, Haas have been the fastest team in the midfield, and I don't see that changing this weekend in Spa, as they should be for me about a quarter of a second ahead of the rest of the midfield. They are just that fast at the minute, and as long as Haas do not blow it on race day like they always do, Haas this weekend really should score a lot of points, and they have to in their massive battle with Renault. And the same really goes for Sauber as well. They should be really fast, especially with Charles Leclerc at this track. And they really should again with Leclerc get one car into the top 10 in qualifying. And this is a big chance for Sauber to score points in their massive battle with Toro Rosso. And I see them getting points with Leclerc. But before we end this preview, let's look at the constructors standings. Mercedes are just about in the lead with Ferrari in second and Red Bull in third. And we really could have a new leader of the constructors after this weekend. Then in the big midfield battle it is Renault in 4th, Haas in 5th, Force India 6th and McLaren in P7. What a close battle this is right now. And then you have Toro Rosso in P8, Sauber in P9 and Williams last of all. I'm sure in the constructors we're going to have at least 2 position changes this weekend. But thankfully guys Formula 1 is back. And at one of the best racing tracks in the world, hopefully we can get another great race in 2018. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I will be back tomorrow live with a Practice 1 and Practice 2 review. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server, a link to that is in the description, also with my Twitter. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what are your predictions for this weekend's Belgian Grand Prix. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.